offer was sent two days ago. Someone who said no, not us. We said yes, we called your daddy and all that just to say yes. <laughs> That we have some confusion going on in the welterweight division. Jerron Boots Ennis says the offer was sent to Team Brian Norman Jr. It's your boy, Mr. 926, aka Bushido the Dragon, aka the Black Mage, aka I could just do this all day the two time demonetized champion of the world. I need y'all get the likes up, man. Get the likes up. Smash the like button. Check it out, man. Jerron Boots Ennis. Brian Norman Jr. Yeah, that's right. Now, this is something your boy Bushido was talking about maybe about three or four or five videos ago. The fight between Jerron Boots Ennis and Brian Norman Jr. And apparently, Team Ennis sent out an offer to Brian Norman Jr. And allegedly, they never responded for two days. Check it out. As of recent, they're saying that if, if it's next, then it's next. Then offer was sent. Offer was sent two days ago. And no back and forth negotiation or? Offer was sent two days ago. <laughs> Did, have you seen or heard about the interviews that, that they saying that they would take it next? If I, offered? Somebody sent me something. They said that, uh, yeah, they said something about like what you just said. And they said something. I heard somebody, I mean, somebody sent me one where he said he'll he fight me at home too. We sent offer two days ago. Turn it down. Now, salute to my boy, YSM Sports Media. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to YSM Sports Media. The best boxing journalist on the East Coast and soon the whole wide world. But Jerome Boots Ennis says that they sent the offer. No response. And this, seemed like the, this seems to be a very common thing when it comes to Jerome Boots Ennis. But... There's more. Brian Norman Jr. reacts. First, he reacts on social media, saying, I didn't turn anything down. And then he has an interview with my boy, YSM Sports Media, to address this situation. Check it out. Except the fight, we actually, I didn't call him. My daddy called Bozy and told him himself, yes, we accept the fight. And my daddy was trying to talk, he was trying to talk. But Bozy said, whoa, 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 whoa. No, we ain't trying to fight right now. We, we, we want to say that till undisputed. We want to say that till later on and stuff like that. So your daddy is the one who said no, not us. We said yes. We called your daddy and all that just to say yes. And yes, I will come to Philly just for that fight. Don't forget, every time we ever encountered each other, I pulled up on y'all. So don't act like I'm no, some rudy poor ass nigga. I ain't never been no bitch. You ought to know that for a fact. Now, after hearing what Brian Norman had to say, he said ain't no over here. Every time I came to see you, I came to Philly to see you, bro. And I'm sure they sparred with each other, things of that nature. And according to Brian Norman Jr., Bozina said, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. We going to say that for last. We want to be undisputed. Well, this is something that I said in my previous video talking about these two young fighters, that this likely will be a situation to where they're going to save each other for last. Um, but I think that Drum Boots Ennis, I don't think he's going to have that much time to unify the division, especially if they're having a hard time getting guys like Barrios in the ring to unify. And then, you know, guys like Enemante Stanionis, you know, it, th those type of fights, you know, really, there should be a round robin tournament. Two of the other champions fight each other. Two of the champions fight each other. Then the last two guys stand and face each other for the undisputed title. In a perfect boxing world, that's the likely scenario. Unfortunately, that's not how this works. Now, some box fans may say Team Boots Ennis is out here cloud chasing. They saying this, they saying that, and then nothing never really happens. You know, um, guys like Conor Ben and guys around in his weight class that seem to really want to fight Boots Ennis, those fights just don't happen for whatever reason. And now with the money behind Boots Ennis with Eddie Hearn, I don't think that, you know, money should really necessarily be an issue because let's be honest, Eddie Hearn knows that he's going to have to pay these fighters to get in the ring with a tough fighter like Jerome Boots Ennis. That's just the reality of the situation. But Brian Norman Jr. came out and addressed this real quick. And now that's what I respect. He didn't sit here and be quiet. He had to nip this right in the bud right away. We didn't turn down nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no bitch over here. Um, 
And I would like to see these two dudes mix it up. I think it's a good, fun, stylistic matchup. I can't say right now who will win. Is Brian Norman at 23 years old ready for Jerron Boots Ennis? Some people may say he's not quite ready just yet. However, according to Brian Norman Jr., Bozy Ennis, the one that said, nah, 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 not right now. Should Jerron Boots Ennis move up to 154 pounds or should he stay at 147 and try to unify that weight class? Tell me what you guys think. Like, subscribe, how's your boy? Peace out.